Okay, well, welcome back. All right, today we're continuing with my whole collection series, and today we're on drawer four of my untrieds, and this is my green drawer. Okay, so the first one we have is another El Corazon that I got from Olga. This one is number 423. This one's like an interesting, kind of like dusty pistachio. Really pretty. And from what I remember, these El Corazons have nice formulas. Okay, then we have a cert color. This one is mosaic. It's a pretty olive green. It's got those beautiful gold flakies. Okay, and then we have Cuticula's Funfetti. Funfetti cake. Look at that pretty, those flakies. I don't know if you can see them They're coming across, but they're really pretty. I like this shade. Okay, then we have a Beesney's Lacquer. This is shady side. This is magnetic. I don't remember how this looks on the nails. Um, I'll have to look at my swatch, but just looking at it in the bottle, I'm not overly wowed by this polish. I don't remember why I got this. I'm pretty sure it was probably Carolina. Um, her swatch probably sold me on this, but looking at it in the bottle, I'm not thrilled with it. But like I said, I don't remember what the swatch is. Okay, then we have color clubs. Oh, it's like worn off. Olive Paris. Look at that. Pretty. It's like a soft, like a soft, dusty, minty, leaning like just a tiny spit of maybe olive or pistachio, but it's more like on the dusty mint. Really interesting. And, um, from what I remember, it has a really nice formula. Okay, then we have Essie's, what is this one called? Um, like a Charm. This is from their Halloween collection a couple years ago, a few years ago. And this is very similar to um, Zoya's Remy or even maybe Charla, Charlie. Is it Charlie or Charla? I can't remember. Um, I have a few polishes that are kind of like this where it's got the kind of like tealy blue base and then the turquoise shimmers. And that's really pretty. Okay, and then we have Emily Damali Limited Edition 117. That's pretty. I'm not overly wowed looking at this in the bottle. Those flakies do look interesting, but against the base, I'm not sure if I love this one. Um, I don't remember what the swatches look like, but just look at it in the bottle. Okay, then we have Glisten and Glow Mystery Polish August 2020. This wasn't a mystery when I bought it last year, but I guess when it first came out, it was a mystery. Look at that, I love the black glitters. I mean, I love black glitters, flakies, speckles in anything. I'm like really, really into like a cream with a black component to it. It's like my favorite thing right now. Okay, then we have Essie's, um, the best is beautiful gray with maybe like a little drop of blue in there. So pretty. Okay, then we have Fancy Gloss Minty Fresh. Beautiful mint green, so pretty. Uh oh, there's a little doggy running past my house with no owner. Doggy's not lost. Okay, then we have Bluebird Lacquer Rock of Sages. This is so gorgeous. This is from May PPU 2022. Look how beautiful this is. I definitely need to pull this out for Christmas month. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, then we have, this is a L'Oreal. I believe I got all my L'Oreal's from Olga, I'm pretty sure. Um, this is 770 Vert. I can't read the second word. Epoque? It's hard to see. There's like a glare. Vert epoque. Whatever that means. Look at that. It's pretty. I can't find L'Oreal polishes anywhere here. So I was really excited when she sent me. I think she sent me three. Really nice. And they all have nice formulas. Okay, then we have NCLA, what is this one called? Take a Dip, really pretty, soft mint green. Really, really pretty. Like I like these shades of minty greens. 
Okay, another Beasley's Lacquer. This one is Mr. Reaper. And this, I was gonna say, if I remember correctly, this one's magnetic and it is, it has a little magnet sticker on it. I don't remember what it looks like magnetized. Okay, another Beasley's Lacquer. This one is, that's what I thought. Um, nothing ever scared me so much as saying goodbye from PPU 2022, August. Let me know down below what your guys' thoughts are on her like reopening as a brand. She was going out of business, I wanna say like over a year, it's like a year and a half that she was going out of business and then now she's back in business. So let me know what you guys, how you guys feel about that. Look at that pretty shift though, that shimmer, so pretty. Okay, and then we have another Emily Damali. This one is a double cross. This is so beautiful. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. Oh, I can't remember what the formula like, is like on this, but I hope it's a nice formula. Look at that, so pretty. Wow. Okay, we have a simple uh, Salon Perfects Neon Pop. This one is Show Me the Money. Now I was talking to my friend Lisa and I was telling her how I heard from Krista, I don't know if this is true, but I, I think it's probably true, that Salon Perfect is the same, basically the same brand as China Glaze, like they're the same parent company, how it, like they redo some of the exact formulas from China Glaze and then sell them in Walmart as Salon Perfects for a little bit cheaper. So it's basically a cheaper version of China Glaze Although really with like all the um, discount retailers like head to toe, they're the same cost because you can get those China glazes for 350. Um, but I do tend to believe that because I have two. I have one from China Glaze. I want to say it's Tropic Like It's Hot. And then I have the Salon Perfect neon limey yellow version. And they're the exact same. Like you swatch them, they're the exact same. And then my friend Lisa, after I told her that, she said she had heard the same thing and she said this one is the dupe version of China Glazes Four Leaf Clover, which is one of my very favorite China Glazes. So I'm gonna be excited to swatch them against each other and see if, you know, they're the same. Look at that, so pretty. Love this shade of green. Okay, then we have a wildflower. This one is all spangled up. It's from the Birds Collection. I have a bunch from that collection. I think I got almost all of them from a couple years ago when it came out. And I haven't worn hardly any of them. Like, I, I don't know what my problem is. Look how pretty that is. I think it is like, I just don't get overly excited about wildflower. I don't know. Look at this, this is pretty, so pretty. Um, pretty sure I got this one from Olga. This is Tropic Low by Essie. Look at that. I think I had been wanting this one and I never got, I, like I never picked it up and then Olga sent it to me. Got both, sorry, that's my the dryer. Okay, then we have a blue bird from last year's um, winter box. This one is um, holiday advent box. This one is best in snow. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. Try to get to this this winter. Okay, hey, another Essie. This one is High Voltage Vinyl. Pretty sure I got this one from Olga too. She had sent me a couple Essies. Look at that, pretty. I've heard people talking about this one. Okay, then we have an OPI. This one is Things I've Seen in Auber Green. This one's so pretty, look at that. OPI's creams are just so good. They have beautiful formulas. I feel like everyone loves OPI. And then Orly. Orly is, to me, a very underrated brand. I feel like people either love Orly or they don't know anything about Orly at all. I personally love Orly. I think their formulas are amazing. They have big bottles, um, a good price, especially if you can. They're hard to find on discount sites, though, so you don't always get them at a discount. And this one is Olive You Kelly, which I'm pretty sure I found this one at um, a TJ Maxx or Marshall, which is where you can get them for cheap. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. 
love that color. Okay, then we have Polish for Days, As You Pass Go. This is from November PPU 2021. I don't remember this polish. I don't remember buying this. I don't know if I got this in a D stash or if a friend sent this to me, but I don't remember specifically buying this, especially not from PPU. It's pretty though. Look at those beautiful flakies. Okay, and then we have, oh, this is so gorgeous. This is Glam Polish, the Wave Mother. Look at that, so beautiful. It has little tiny, tiny black speckles in there, which I don't think they're coming across. Can you kind of see them there? So pretty. Ugh. Okay, then we have another um, Boo Bird. Boo Bird from um, Halloween. This one is Presto Changeo, and this one is a magnetic. I don't remember what this one looks like. Look at that shimmer, though. We have a Nailed It. This one is 100th Tuesday. This is from Supernatural. If you know that episode, it's really funny. Look at that, they're beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Okay, another OPI. This one is Ready, Fet, Go. This is a hollow. That pretty shimmer in there. I'm pretty sure, I don't quite remember, but I think this had a, a really good formula. I don't remember how the hollow looks. Okay, another China Glaze with really bad ugly bottle syndrome. Is this one for Audrey? This one is, this one's for Audrey. I never had this one. This one is like a cult classic. I never had it and I finally picked it up on a discount site. And it's got ugly bottle syndrome, but it swatches really nicely still. Or at least when I swatched it. Look how pretty that is. Okay, it's supposed to be, from what I understand, the perfect Tiffany blue. Because it wasn't Audrey Hepburn, she was in um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, correct? I never saw it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's, that sounds right. Um, okay, then we have China Glaze, Love Him and Leaves Him. That is pretty. I think I either got this one from Barb or I got this one at the dollar store. Okay, then we have an Essie. This one is Cacti on the Prize. Look at that. I remember this collection, the whole collection was really nice. I'm pretty sure this is the same collection that um, you know the Espadrille is from. And then I believe it also had like a really beautiful dusty blue. I don't know if I have that one or not. Look at that, pretty. Okay, then we have a Lights Lacquer. This is at last. Pretty. Okay, and then we have Rogue Lacquers. This is Happiest Place on Earth from their Imagineering collection. That's beautiful. This would look gorgeous, I think, over this for the fall. I might try this this fall. I have to remind myself. Okay, another light slacker. This one is number 11. I must have got these from, um, I know I see them at TJ Maxx. I don't believe, I'm pretty sure I've never made a purchase from her website before. Um, not really a fan of, you know, the, the brand owner. Um, this is another blue bird from their holiday advent, um, 2022. This is time to spruce things up. That's pretty. Look at that. This will be nice in um, uh, Christmas month, for Christmas month in December. That. Okay, then we have Believe Beauty Beach Wave. Pretty minty green. Okay, and then we have Believe Beauty, It Takes Two. I have a lot of Believe Beauty creams and I 
or just like boy beauties in general and I haven't worn a ton of them. Okay, then we have Little Dollish Polish Mini. This one is a muck, a muck, a muck. Dollish Polish used to be one of my favorite brands. Like when I first started out um, learning about indies, um, they were one of the first indie brands that I purchased from regularly and really liked them. They were one of my favorite brands. I was only familiar with a couple, you know, indie brands. And it's, honestly, it's been quite a few years since I've really been interested in Dollish Polish. Very, very pretty though, look at that. Okay, and then we have a uh, polish. This one is Honeydew. I remember when they first started coming out with polishes that had these gold flakes, the gold flakes were in everything and I wanted all of them. They're just so beautiful. But now I have, um, or I've had it for a while, they're gold topper, goldsmith I wanna say it's called. And it's pretty much the same gold flakes and it's beautiful and then you can pretty much get the same look with just their topper, beautiful. Okay, then we have Atomic Polish. Um, I'm almost 100% certain that I got this one from Carolina. This one is Allomancy from Hella Handmade Creations. Look at that, Have that pretty shift, that shimmer. Beautiful. Okay, then we have Bees Knees Lacquer. She Reaches from Beyond the Grave from the Fear Street Collection. So beautiful, look at that. Okay, another Bees Knees Lacquer. This one is The Fruits of the Land. This one's really interesting. This will be really nice in um, the spring. That pretty pink shift shimmer in there. Okay, KB Shimmer, pretty sure. I've had this one for so many, for so long and I haven't worn it, look at that. I wonder it's probably faded by now. Look at that, so pretty. This would also look pretty over um, dark green undies. Okay, then we have a Cameo Colors Lacquer. This is this is a Fine Craft. This was from Polish Pickup, December 2020, the year that everything sucked. Look at that. Pretty. Okay, oh, this is the Salon Perfect that I was talking about. That's a dupe for China Glaze Tropic Like It's Hot. And this is called Vava Room. Look at that. This is so beautiful. I love this color. I should put this on my toenails. Even though it's finally starting to cool down here in Florida, it's, I wanna say like 60 something today. But it was in the 50s earlier. Okay, then we have, oh, Got a package coming. LA Colors, um, what is this called? Energy. Pretty, look at that. Look at that shade of green. I don't remember what the formula is on this. I can't quite remember if this is more cream or if it has kind of like a soft jelly formula, but it's very pretty. Okay, then we have MTK Marrow. Got this one from a D-Stash. This one and another one that I got from a D-Stash. I don't know how I feel about them. I might be decluttering at least one of them when I do my declutter series. It is very pretty though. They are nice. Um, they look nice as almost like toppers or you know, as a combo. It's got that pretty shimmer. Okay, then we have Believe Beauty 9 to 5. This one looks like it's definitely a jelly. Okay, then we have Simple Colors Matcha something, right? Yeah, so matcha better. Look how pretty that is. That's beautiful. So, so interesting. It's like a, I don't know. It's not really a mint. It's not quite an olive. It's maybe like a, like a dusty, maybe like a matcha, dusty matcha. I was gonna say like a dusty pistachio, but I guess it's supposed to be like a matcha green. Really pretty, I like it. Be nice for fall. Okay, then we have another Dollish Polish. This one is Breathe Sunflower, three to the right, four to the left, Rainbow 450. That's a, a Stranger Things reference. Really pretty. Don't know why I haven't worn this one yet. This is really pretty. 
Okay, then we have a Color Club Hollow. This one is Angel Kiss. Got this one on one of the discount sites. Actually, I might have I might have gotten this one from Laura. I think she might have sent me a Color Club Hollow. I just don't remember. Look at that, pretty. Okay, then we have Cuticula Birch Please. Pretty, look at that. Beautiful green hollow. This will be beautiful in the fall, winter. Okay, then we have Fair Maiden's Celestial Storm. Look at that, that's pretty. Okay, then we have an OPI. This one is rated PG. Look at that, so pretty. This is a beautiful green. It has a really, really nice formula. Okay, another one of the China Glaze Hollows. This one is She's So Extraterrestrial. This one was from, I wanna say their Halloween collection a couple years ago. Really pretty, look at that. Beautiful hollow. Okay, we have a Rogue Lacquer. This one is Feast Mode. This one's suffering from Ugly Bottle Syndrome. Look at that, pretty. Those beautiful flakies. Okay, then we have a Bettina. This one is Solidarious. Look at that, that's pretty. You can see those pretty, kind of like glass flex shimmers. Okay, then we have, let's see, a fancy gloss. This one is Wazowski from Hella Handman Creations 519. I got this one in a D-stash. Look how pretty that is. Bright slime green and it's got that little I don't know if you can see it, there's like a soft shimmer in there. And a little, um, are they glitters or are they flakies? Looks like they're flakies. Okay, and then we have a lollipop posse. This one is $7.99 is absolutely fine. Got this one in D stash as well. How pretty that is. Pretty sure this is like a sheer jellyish formula and either needs undies or you really have to build it up in multiple coats if I'm remembering correctly. Look at that pretty shimmer. Okay, then you have another Dollish Polish. This is your Mean One Mr. Grinch. Look at that, it's pretty. Those pretty um, flakies. Okay, and then we have another Lollipop Posse. Uh, this one in a D stash as well, I'm pretty sure. This one is Cut Loose to Pennsylvania. That's pretty, look at that. Okay, and then we have a, an Uber Chick Beauty. This one is Cabana. Pretty hollow. Okay, then we have a glam polish. This one is Lion Cub of Sintra. Look at that, so pretty. I got this one from um, Maisha. She sent me when we did that little um, swap a couple years ago. Look at that. From The Witcher. I'm actually listening to the audiobooks right now. I have, I have the eBooks. Um, but I decided to listen to them as audiobooks, so I've um, been reading, you know, listening to them through my library, but each book has a several week waiting list. So I'm right now currently on book three of eight. Okay, Color Club Blue Ming. So pretty. I remember this one was on my wish list for a very long time before I finally just bought it. Look at that, so pretty. Okay, and then we have Polish, another one with the beautiful gold flakies. This one is Nausicaa. Look how pretty that is. 
beautiful. Okay, then we have painted polish. This one is just made this. I remember this one was from PPU either last year or the year before, and I remember everyone was talking about this one. I think the name was, I forget what happened. I think she had, something had happened with the polish that she was gonna have in PPU. Either she didn't get the pigments in time or something happened, I don't know. And so then like, on the cuff, she made this one for PPU and then called it, just made this. I believe that sounds familiar to me. I believe that's um, why this is named, just made this. Really pretty. Okay, Night Owl Lacquer, this one is Wanted. Look at that, pretty. I have so many untried Night Owls, it's kind of ridiculous. Night Owls and Bees Knees Lacquer. Okay, then we have, and glam polish. <laughs> then we have KB Shimmer Vested Interest. Really pretty, look at that shimmer. That You see that shift? Really pretty. I don't remember if that translates on the nails or not. Okay, then we have a Lemming Lacquer. Got this one from PPU 419, January, February, March. I believe the first month I ever bought PPU was February of 2019. And then this was from April, 2019. So I've had this from the first year I ever did PPU and it's so pretty, but every time I look at it, I just don't have the desire to wear it. And I don't know why. It's definitely a jelly. So you either have to build it up in multiple coats or it's gonna need undies, but I don't know. Those flakies are just so pretty. Look at that. But every time I look at it, I'm just like, eh, I don't really wanna wear it. So I don't know. I might end up decluttering it, we'll see. Okay, another China Glaze. This one is Active Wear Don't Care. Very pretty. Okay, we're almost done, a few more. Then we have LA Colors Color Mania. This one is Lyrical. Very pretty. These Color Manias, they all have those pretty um, shimmers in them. Okay, and then we have Heather's Hughes Persephone. Got this one in a D stash. And every time, every year I'm like, oh, I need to wear that. And then I just haven't worn it. Look how beautiful that is. This one over, I'm pretty sure I experimented with this over black undies. So pretty. Need to try to get to it this year. Okay, then we have another Believe Beauty. This one is Secret Hideaway. Pretty sure most of the Believe Beauty creams had pretty bad formulas, but the colors are also pretty and unique, and so I've you know kept them all. Okay, then we have a sassy chick. And this one is from the dollar store, and they're not named, they're just numbered. So this is 948. Really pretty and interesting. All right, the last one is another night owl. This one is as you wish. Look at that, look at those pretty flakies. All right, you guys, that was everything in my untried drawer number four. I'm gonna be doing five next. Um, if you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye.